Coach Jason. We've been doing a lot of deadlifts recently, and I've been experiencing some low back pain around rep three or rep four. Do you have any tips that can help me? Well, lower back pain, pretty, I would say, common with the deadlift, but it's not normal. Let me say that again. Back pain, common, but not normal for your deadlift. And hey, what are some things you could do? The first thing I would recommend is downloading your weight a little bit. Any corrections you're gonna need to make, it'll be challenging to make those corrections with a heavy weight load under a lot of intensity. So the first thing you wanna do is download your weight. Then we can look at one of two other things. It could either be the shape of your body or you may not be pressurizing properly. Let's talk about what they look like. Okay, so hey, the back's hurting. First thing you wanna do is stop doing what you're doing because you don't wanna do what caused the pain in the first place. So either download the weight load or you may need to modify it altogether. Nobody's around to help you. But if you can, let's take a look at those two things. It's either the shape of the body. What do I mean by that? We've got our general deadlift positions or barbell positions along what we call here this vertical chain on the vertical pattern. So I want to make sure my patterns are optimal. I want to make sure my hip or maybe somewhat in relationship to my knees. I want to make sure my shoulders are right over the ankles as best as I can. And I got a nice line through my spine as well. I don't want to be rounded through the spine too much and we definitely don't want to arch too much either. And so the starting position is really key, but just as important as the position is the pressure in the body. So the chances are you may not be gripping tight enough, getting enough power applied into the bar. So that's when we really want to grip and ring into the bar as much as we can to pull slack out of it as well as slack out of our body. So from this position, I'm getting more pressure into the grip and I want to pressurize through the belly as well. You see the moment I pressurize, I don't even need to lift the bar up. The bar is automatically coming up off the ground. All I did was create pressure in my abdominal core. So that's two main things we want to look at, the shape or the posture of the body and the positions, or are we pressurizing properly? Hey, one more thing you may want to consider is hey, what part of the movement is causing the pain? Is it the way up or maybe it's the way down? In fact, most of the time, it's the way down on your deadlift that's going to create the most complication. Let's show you what we're talking about. So let's say you get into the deadlift, you grip it, you grip it, and it's just a heroic lift. You feel great about it, right? Well, we're not done. We're halfway there, in fact. So to get back to the start position, we've got to maintain that pressure. So what do I mean by that? My belly is super tight. It will serve you well to learn how to breathe through and maintain the tightness in the core. It's pressurizing my belly outward as much as I can. I'm gonna maintain that pressure as I hinge back. Hinging back. Now what we should feel here is the pull through the back of the leg. So if you're one who has back pain and you're not feeling the pull through the back of the legs on the down portion of your deadlift, that may be a big cause for it. So once again, we come through, we grip it, we rip it. We're at the top of this heroic deadlift. We're coming back down, we're feeling for the back of the legs, pressurizing through the belly. Hey, once my bar gets to the knees, this is when I want to bend it. It's the last portion of the deadlift coming back down. One of the biggest One of the errors I'll see that leads to back pain in the deadlift is on the down position. As we start to move the bar back towards the floor, instead of hinging, we want to kind of squat. And you see the knees start to bend forward. Now all that power, now all of this weight of the barbell is basically hanging off of my back like a crane. So instead of this position here with my knees bent, I wanna keep my hips and knees back. That's gonna transfer that energy out of my back into the back of the legs, and I can continue to do the hinge, and then I can return back to the start position. And so, hey, the deadlift, challenging, simple movement, but a lot of skill and a lot of attention required to ensure you could do it safely, effectively, and for a long duration of time. Hey, so if you're dealing with a complication, a pain, or something you just wanna know more about, hey, check in, stay tuned for these coaches' tips. We'll be coming at you every week.